Hi guys, this is Jenna. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Um, I'm going to show you how I painted this little rocket ship guy today um, with kind of like a galaxy background. Ooh, don't be fooled. Kind of blends into my uh, backdrop back there. <laughs> uh, ooh, sorry. Um, uh, so yeah, so I will show you how I came up with this. Uh, make sure you, you know, subscribe, follow Artstitution. Um, we're on Facebook, Instagram, um, but definitely subscribe. Um, you know, all that good stuff. Okay, so if this is your first video, um, welcome. Thanks for coming. <laughs> uh, I'm going to show you kind of how I came up with this guy, but first, um, here's what we got. Uh, I have my egg carton with acrylic paints. I'm going to mix my colors on my paper plate. Um, with that, for this painting, uh, I'm only going to use the two middle brushes to paint with. Um, I won't use this big guy. You can use it if you want to on your background, but I will not. Um, but I will use this guy when we splatter, but I'll come back to that. Uh, so this guy will be my mixing brush, and then the pointy one I'm only going to use for the stars and the tiny little detail things. Um, I'm going to mix my paint on here. I've got paper towels to dry my brush off. With that, uh, the water gets stuck kind of in this like metal piece, so just make sure you dry that really good before you go to paint on your canvas. Um, and uh, background colors too, uh, if you want to change them up a little bit. I have like a dark, kind of turquoisey, medium, medium, midnight blue, uh, and like a hot pink. And then I did a little gray, um, not so that you could see the gray, but just so it, it gave some different kind of highlighty pieces throughout. Um, we're going to do kind of like a crosshatch uh, texture on the background, which I'll show you when we get to that, but if you are going to kind of do a little bit, pause it, come back, um, just make sure that you do your background and the splatter, and then you paint this in with white. You want the background to still be a little wet when you do the rocket ship with the white, because it pulls that background color, and that's what kind of helps it to get that streaky look. Um, so just make sure you do that those steps first before you pause it and then come back um, yeah and I'll just uh, I'll walk you through it I promise um, I'm going to mix up my colors first so uh, I'm gonna do a little scoop of white on here a little closer here <clears throat> all right I'm gonna do a little bit of white here um, oh sorry oh my goodness the glare a little bit of white there a little bit of white there. So this bigger pile, I'm going to add a little bit of black to it. That's going to be my light gray. Oops, that's not it. You don't need a lot of this. Okay. Just a little bit. And then this color, I'm going to do like five scoops of blue. Don't be shy with this because you don't want to run out while you're painting. Um, five scoops of blue, a little bit of white, and I'm going to add little bits of black at a time. Um, I do want it to be a dark color. The black, if you do too much at first and it just turns black, it's going to take you a lot longer to go in reverse. Okay, so keep adding little bits of black until it's as dark as you want it to be. I want it to be pretty dark, so I'm just going to keep adding little bits at a time. Mix it up. When you're mixing, try to kind of keep it in a pile so that you're not painting your plate. Okay. Alright, so I have my blue here. Sorry about that glare. Um, I've got my blue. Now I'm going to mix my pink. So I'm just going to rinse my brush off, dry it really good, 
Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> okay, so now when I mix my pink, I'm gonna do a little bit of white, barely a scoop. I'm gonna do two scoops of red. Mix that up. I'm gonna add a little bit of blue, teeny bit, teeny, teeny, teeny bit. And a little bit of yellow. Just keep playing around. Add a little more red, add a little more white until it's the color that you want it to be. Add a little more yellow. Layo, we go. Okay, so now have my colors here. Just play with that glue to fix that. Okay. Uh, I'm going to rinse my brush off because I'm going to start I'm going to start with my blue. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to paint the edges so that that looks better when it's done. I think you don't have to paint the edges if you don't want to. It's totally up to you. Um, I'm going to paint this top part first because as we go down, I'm going to flip it over and then I can paint the bottom when it's done ready to go okay so I'm gonna start with my blue here okay so what you're gonna do now is gonna paint in a diagonal okay so you're gonna keep all your brush strokes for your background in a diagonal in the same direction we're gonna do this all the way down and we're gonna flip it and we're gonna do it all the way in the other way just bear with me so with this, do some of your blue, dip in with some of your gray. The gray is just meant to give an added little kind of softness to the blue as you're going. You don't need to really see the gray. It's just, it's just helping you kind of smooth that out a little bit. Give you another little um, kind of texture of a color here. Okay. Keep this diagonal stroke going. If you've watched me before, you know that I go in turbo speed. I'm really sorry about that. That's just how I paint. But lucky for you, you can pause and come back and I'll still be here. <laughs> okay, so just keep going until you fill. You want to fill your whole canvas in this same direction, um, same diagonal direction. Okay, mix in some of your gray. See how it's not really doing anything, it's just adding another little glow to it. Okay. Alright, so now I'm going to flip this over. So that this is my bottom. Okay, continue with your paint in the same direction that you were going. So if you're going left to right, keep those lines going. Okay. Don't forget your gray. All right. Now, once you've painted your whole canvas in this direction. We're gonna to start to go in the other direction. Okay, now what I mean by that is right now I'm going right to left this diagonal direction, okay? What you're going to do now, I'm not putting any more paint on my brush, I'm gonna go the other way. So I'm gonna to start to go this way, just to create more lines and more texture on your canvas. Okay, and just keep going in between so that you fill up each spot. I'm not getting any more paint on my brush. I'm just moving what's on here. I'm gonna go again this way just to create some more. And then we're gonna go in with your pink. I think I missed that corner there. So with what you have here, 
Um, I'm not going to wipe or wash my brush off. I'm going to go right in with my pink and I'm going to almost like drag the paint. So like I'm not pushing too hard. If you push too hard, it might just wipe off the blue that you have and not even add the pink to it. So little bits at a time and same thing. So this is going to be the same kind of crosshatch that you have. So add a little bit of your pink, go this direction, that direction, kind of like you're doing X's, but not quite. Bounce around with this pink a little bit. And if you want there to be more of this, this pink color than the blue color, just do more of it than the blue, but just bounce around until you've got your canvas covered. Okay, again, don't push too hard. You're just kind of like brushing this over top. So it's just smearing almost on top of the blue, okay? Now, once you've got your pink all around, if you want to, you can go back with your blue to make some of those spots darker and keep those like cross hatches in mind when you're doing this, okay? Sorry, I'm going fast. Pause if you need to, but just keep covering up your canvas with these cross, this like cross kind of texture, okay? Add more blue back if you want to. If you want to add more pink, you can. If you want more of that gray in there, you can. All right, so now once you have all your colors. I'm going to go over the whole thing, not completely, but just a few strokes, just to add a whole nother line of texture to it. Okay, looks like a big woven mess. That's what you're going for. Okay, easy peasy. Now we're going to splatter paint. Let's see if I can come on some pink down here. Hold on. So with the splatter paint, what you're going to do is rinse your brush off. Um, we're going to do a little bit of white. Oh, I only splatter painted in white. I went back and added some yellow and some pink, but I used the back of my brush, kind of like a little stamp to do that. I only splattered with white. So to splatter paint, what you want to do, rinse your brush off. I'm going to dip in my white here, dip in my water, and then Add your water to your paint. So really all you're doing is watering down, making it a little thinner. Um, make sure you mix all that up so it's not chunky. And I'm going to use my big brush. And I'm going to hit the brush with the paint into the other brush. Brush with the paint into the other brush. If you have um, a spot somewhere that you could lay this flat, it's actually easier to, to splatter paint down onto a flat surface. Um, I'm going to do it on here so that you can see. Um, so let's, I don't want a lot on my brush here. So dip it on each side, tap onto your plate so any of the big gobs fall onto your plate. And then you're going to go onto your canvas and just kind of tap around. I like a lot of stars, so... I'm going to make mine really splattery. It's up to you. It's up to you how many stars and splatters you put here. Again, your canvas. Make it how you want it to be. Um, I'm going to go back later and add some bigger white dots. But for now, I think that's good. All right, so now we're going to draw out the rocket ship. So just rinse off your mixing brush really quick. I'm going to use that pointy brush, and we're going to draw it out. Um, I'm going to use white, which I will put on my plate. When you're doing this, you can kind of practice these shapes um, if you want to get a, like a scrap piece of paper and draw it out first, just to get yourself kind of comfortable with how you want to draw it. Um, for me, I'm going to draw this bottom line first. 
And then I'm going to make these rounded shapes. If you want to, you can draw a triangle and then bump out the sides. It's really up to you. Um, what you want to do, though, when you're doing this rocket ship, see how I have all of my lines going in the same direction when I paint it? I'm not painting the entire ship in. I'm just going to use some of that white and drag it over the blue with these, like, stripes, okay? And then we'll come back. Some of these that are, like, really, really bright white pieces, you won't be able to do that until later. So right now we're just going to draw in this rocket ship here, okay? Um, when you're mapping this out, just kind of figure, you know, you have the center of your canvas. Go down a little bit and draw this, this line in first, if that's how you're going to start. Um, and then I just, uh, oh, um, you don't need a lot of paint on your brush, you'll see. Okay, so just do this little, that little back line in there. And then I'm going to bump to the top. And then from the top, I'm going to go down to the bottom. Okay, now, initial shape on the canvas, I already can tell I want it to be bigger. Okay, but I kind of like the shape that it is, so I'm just going to draw on the outside of it. Um, your canvas is probably still pretty wet, so all this blue is just going to mix into your white. That's okay. Just keep going so that you can create this, you know, this shiny look here. And I think I want it to be a little longer. Maybe I'll just draw this back a little bit. Okay, now once you have this shape, follow your lines and just paint it in white. Don't worry if it still is really blue and really wet. Just drag it so that you have one solid shape. Some of that pink might come in, that's okay. Have all your brush strokes go down to the bottom like this. Okay? Top to bottom, bottom to top, whichever way you want to do your brush stroke direction. Okay? And then once you have it painted in here, Once you have it all painted in with your white, I'm going to do this line again. Okay, I can come back later and fix these lines on the outside. Alright, so now these pieces here, same thing, kind of like a triangle that just has a little bump out. So. Whatever you're comfortable, however you're comfortable doing this, I like to draw this line out that way, and then this line out this way. I think that's a little crooked. It needs to go down this way. Okay, and then bump out the side to make a little fin. Bump out the side to make a little fin. I think this one's a little bit smaller. They don't have to be exactly the same. But you want to you want to make them generally the same size, okay? So now your background is really wet. I don't know if you can. I'm sorry, my background is really wet. I don't know if you can see that, but you want to paint this in. You don't want it to be solid white. You want it to be the same kind of darkness that just has white pulled through it, just like your rocket ship. Okay, we're gonna actually use some of that darkness to make that your. Like those are going to be like your shadows, but we'll come back to that later. Oops. Okay, so fix if you need to fix any of these lines if they're a little crooked. Okay, now there's a little little rectangle down here. You can draw that guy in now. Hold on, I lost my. just a little rectangle piece kind of just bumped out from the bottom sorry I don't know if you can see the difference there okay so that's where your flames are going to come from Okay, I know it looks a little sketchy right now. We can add a little more white to it. Um, we're gonna do the stars next, 
but I want you to get I want you to get the bottom like base part for your flames. So rinse your brush off. And here we'll do the we'll do our mixing brush really quick. So we're going to I'm gonna add or I'm gonna mix up a little yellow. So I'm gonna do whoop, do like two scoops of yellow. I'm gonna do a little bit of red. I like my yellows to have kind of like an orangey, ooh, sorry, ah, glare. Hmm. Why it's doing that today, it didn't do that. Okay, anyway, I want, I like my yellow to have kind of like an orangey tone to it. So I just added a little bit of red. I'm gonna add a little bit of white. Okay, now, with these flames, I use my brush to kind of, that pointed edge is going to help me do that point at the edge over there. I mean, on your canvas. So, um, again, your paint is still really wet, so your blue is probably going to mix in. That's okay. Don't use big gobs of paint here. Just have some yellow. Stroke it in here so that the blue kind of picks up. See? See? You want, you want some of that blue in there because that's going to help give you a little bit of a dimension, kind of like a shadow in the flame. Okay. Oops. Got a little crazy there. Okay. So now once you have your flames, keep this blue. Don't go over top of it with any more yellow. Keep it the way that it is now so that we go back. we'll go back later and add some more to it to make it like a brighter yellow and not so bluey green in there, okay? So to do the stars, um, I did these two, kind of like a bigger size than these four, and then I did these two little guys, three little guys, and then these are solid, colored in. Um, if you wanna color these guys in solid white, it's totally up to you. I like the cookie cutter kind of shape to it. Um, and if you want to, if you have a way of drawing stars, I, go for it. You don't have to, whoa, there's orange. You don't have to do it the way that I'm doing it. Um, just show you how I do it. If you have a different way, go for it. Sorry, my light is quite rainbowed. Okay, so with these stars, kind of wipe off so you don't have a big gob on your brush. And here's what I do. So I'm going to do these two big ones first. And again, your background is still pretty wet if you're um, moving at my pace here. Um, be careful you don't stamp your hand in to mess up kind of what you have. And then stamp it somewhere else. Um, Alright, so what I do, think of these stars kind of like triangles. Okay, I'm just doing the top, like the two pieces of the triangle and then moving over here. I'm doing these pieces, these pieces. Um, just go slow with it. Ooh, fly away, hold on. Okay, so I'm going to do the I'm going to do the top, almost triangle piece, and then I'm going to do the two sides. Okay, and then I'm going to do these pieces in, and then the bottom pieces. This line is going to follow this line. This line is going to follow. Whoop, this line is going to follow this line, and then these point. Sorry, lost no more paint is pointed there okay so these two are the same size I'm gonna do this one over here top lines to the side lines in don't forget this line this line they follow these here okay um, if it's still pulling in a lot of your background color and you want them to be darker we'll wait we'll go back later and you can add more white to it okay so now the next four, I'm going to do these guys because they are the same size. So a little smaller than these ones that you just did. Top, sides. Stars are kind of, they're, they're tricky in the sense that these lines here, people forget that those have to match. And mine are really sketchy. There's no, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't need them to be perfect. Um, okay, this one's going to be a little bit smaller. This one here. Um, 
there's like a hair that keeps popping up on my brush. If that happens, just make sure you're kind of spinning so that you're pointed at the end of your brush. Um, okay, let's go. This one here. This one's a little smaller too. Oop, that's a lot of paint on that brush, Jenna. So that's all my, oh, I think I got a little one more on here. So that's all my, I'll call them cookie cutter stars, because they're just the outlines. Um, the stars that are colored in, I use the point of my brush to make those pieces. So I'm almost just like stamping. The brush to make those pieces. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. Okay. So with this, just kind of move around. With these little stars, kind of, oh, you're almost just like placing these in the spaces. Left from your cookie cutters. Just go slow. I'm going as slow as I can. I can't help it. It's just how the art comes out. <laughs> um, now I have one here, but I spaced these two kind of too close, so I'm going to do two of these little guys. So keep that in mind when you're doing yours. If your placement is different than mine, just move them around so that you like the composition and kind of where everything is placed and spaced apart, you know? Uh, same thing. I'm going to put one here. Um, let's see. Put two over here. I'm going to wipe my brush off. It's getting kind of gunky. Wipe it. There we go. Up here. Okay. Stars are there. Rinse off your brush. All right. So we have another yellow. Now this window, I'm gonna wait a little bit because um, this is still pretty wet. We're gonna add another little bit of yellow. So to this, um, you can keep some of this blue though. You don't have to like, it doesn't have to, you don't have to completely cover it with the yellow. I kind of like the blue. It gives it another like tone to the flames. Okay, so a little bit of yellow. I'm gonna add a little more white to my rocket ship. So the pieces that are the brightest. So um, this, this line here that you're like outside of the rocket ship, 
add a little more white there if you can. A little more white's got some blue in it. Let me try that again. Add a little more white there. A little more white up top. Now you don't want to come down, you want to leave this part kind of dark still because you're going to put the window over top of it. So this outside added a little white to the top. I'm going to add a little white to this outside piece. Okay, now same thing with your, uh, I'll call them wings. You want to keep this darkness here because that gives you the shadow on the inside. So you're almost just going to do the outside of those wings. You're going to keep it dark in here, okay? So you just brighten up the outside edge. And now this piece here before the flames just add a little bit to that back and then a little bit to each side and then you can brush in but keep that dark so that you can tell that it's two different pieces okay all right now we're gonna do some polka dots to let this dry a little bit here so I have yellow um, I did uh, the same as the flames. I did yellow and then I did a little bit of that pink. Um, I used the back of my tiny brush. So brush side, back side, that's what I'm going to use. Kind of like a stamp. So with this yellow, just kind of bounce around. I almost did them in like groups of two or three. Okay, bounce around with the yellow. on my plate here. Okay, so now same thing. I'm going to go around with my pink. Can keep them in groups you can go all over the place there's really no right or wrong to this just adding a little more texture and craziness to your sky if you want to mix up a light blue you can just add some white to your background color you can do a purple really it's up to you how you want to you can you can kind of add more to this than what I did. It's up to you. I feel like I've said that a lot. It's totally up to you. Okay. Pink is done. Now, we're going to, we're going to make this circle here. So, I have it pretty stripey. Kind of like when you see a window and it's got like glares on it. So, you're going to take some white I like to draw in that initial circle and then I kind of bullseye it. Draw and draw and draw and draw and draw into the middle. Okay. So you have your circle. Um, I like to add a little more into the middle here. Give it a little glare. Just be careful how much you brush over it because it's still kind of wet. It might just pull that paint off. Okay. So now you have that circle. What you're going to do, same thing we just did with the stars, use that back side. And I'm going to do a dot on the top and then a dot on the bottom. And then same thing left to right. Okay, 
and then I'm going to fill it in. So I'm going to do one in the middle of this one, one in the middle of this one, one in the middle here, and the middle here. Sorry, middle of these two, I guess. And then go in between those two. So that'll help you to kind of make your circle. Okay, hope you can see that. Hope it's not too glary for you. Okay, now last thing we need to do is we're gonna lighten up this yellow and do a little light piece on top here. So I just did a scoop of white and I added it to the yellow that I had on my plate. Turned it green, so I'm gonna just add a little more here. Just want to lighten up your yellow a little bit okay now this you're you're just adding the white part kind of to the um the part closest to the rocket ship so keep this kind of that blue and dark yellow just add your light yellow to the top and you can make this different pieces it doesn't have to follow oops it doesn't have to follow like the lines that you have already, just kind of adding a little brightness to it. If you want to go even further, you can do straight white. Just depends how far you want to go um, to the tips of those front ones. Okay. Um, and I think that's it. If you want to, you can go over your stars again. I kind of like how mine are, they're kind of see-through. Um, kind of picks up some of that background and some of them it looks like they're farther away and closer to you. Oh, you know what? I wanted to add more white. So some of these white, I mean some of these splatter paints are big, so I'm going to even that out and just add a few all around. Okay. Sorry, I tend to overstar. Can't help it. Okay. <laughs> all right, that's all I have for you for this guy. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Um, don't forget, subscribe to Artstitution. Follow us. Uh, if you do, uh, if you follow us on Facebook, post, uh, post your finished pieces so we can see um, what you have. Um, and I hope you had a good time. Take care. Take care of each other. And uh, have a good day. Come back soon. Thanks, guys.